onto some rocks. Coming up tonight at 7 o'clock, an exclusive interview with that man who reflects on his close call and what he says about his decision to go into the water during the high surf advisory. This 10 News Pinpoint Weather Report is sponsored by Anderson Plumbing, Heating and Air. Nobody wows clients like we do. Angelica is joining us once again to tell us how long that high surf advisory will stick around here in San Diego. Angelica. Hi, Kim, and really learning when the high tide and low tide is because when it's low, it could be enticing and a lot of people go in. So I'll give you the times and I'll show you what is going to be happening for the next few days. But for tonight, it is pretty quiet out there, 57 degrees. The wind's coming out of the northwest at three miles per hour, so almost no wind. We're going to see clouds tonight into tomorrow morning. You probably saw them right around sunset. Our high serve has been extended all the way through Saturday. And high tide for tomorrow will be at 115. But if you want to be at the beach, maybe go for a walk, enjoy the sand during low tide, you can go in the morning close to 8 a.m. And then it happens again late in the evening. So right around 5 o'clock, it starts to go down, but it's probably still going to be high, whether you're hiking Torrey Pines or any other area where you may want to go on the sand. Definitely a good reminder that high tide is at 115 tomorrow. The temperature is just a couple of degrees cooler than yesterday, but it was a big difference this afternoon. And tonight, we're already down to 44 degrees in Ramona, 54 here in Oceanside, and 51 in Hamul. The light breeze out of the west, making it feel just a little bit cooler as you step outside. And a few clouds will continue streaming as a storm passes to our north. The bulk of its moisture is going to be in the, in the northern Rockies, and that's actually where most of the storms in the near future will be confined. But you can see here in our future cast on Wednesday, clouds and some storms passing to the north, but all that energy gets transferred over the water. So that's going to keep those big waves coming along our shoreline. Our high surf advisory again in effect until 6 p.m. Right now, waves between 3 and 6 feet. The temperature is overnight, dropping to the 40s along the coast, expecting those numbers closer to the 30s, with a few exceptions, of course, into our foothills, where it's going to be even colder, but around 40 degrees overnight. In our 10 News Pinpoint 7-day forecast, 63 degrees at the coast with a mix of clouds and sunshine warming up on Wednesday. And we're going to be in for a gradual warm-up. You see how the numbers kind of settle right around 65, 67, expecting the conditions to be pretty quiet starting Wednesday under a ridge of high pressure that will provide a warm-up. That warm-up is going to keep a consistent forecast with temperatures looking almost the same every single day. We're going to see minor differences from day to day, including Wednesday with more sunshine, then clouds back on Thursday, then it clears on Friday, but expect more sunshine in time for the weekend. So those are the kind of changes we'll see in the near future in our deserts. A beautiful day tomorrow with 70 degrees, sunny skies, and then by Wednesday, 74, with those numbers staying around 74 degrees into the weekend. Very nice in January. Thank you, Angelica. Another